Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. As I was uh, experimenting with uh, my coaxial uh, cable coils, like it can be seen in my uh, earlier uh, video, I was intrigued by this new uh, diagram and self-running claim from uh, a Russian uh, guy called uh, User ID Delhi. And it's all over the uh, this web page and also on uh, the self-running uh, thread here. So I was looking into this and there's a lot of information but it's mostly in Russian so it's kind of hard to understand. Up to now I found two detailed uh, diagrams. They look uh, similar, they all have uh, their data on the coil. Which is for me the most important to uh, understand uh, how this is possible to work. Um, so my first uh, glance at it was to look at this uh, coil, how it's uh, being set up with the coax cable. And it was hard to correlate the uh, data on this uh, photograph with the data on the diagrams, but uh, I think I figured it out uh, the way that... Uh, let me take a shot at this uh, coil. This seems to me, to me the, the best uh, representation of the diagram. We have the uh, first L1 coil directly on the uh, former. Then we have an L2 coil on top of that, which is shorted by a capacitor, creating a kind of resonance circuit. Then we have the L3 coil, which is the coaxial cable, shorted at one end. And then finally we have the pickup coil, the output coil, the L4 coil, going to a rectifier and then to the to the load. So I was looking at this diagram and I was hard, had a hard time finding out which are which. But I think that uh, I can conclude that the L1 coil, which is directly on the former, should be the one which is between the white and the orange colored wire. Not sure why it's changed, perhaps um, they are just connection leads because these are much thicker than the specifications for the L1 coil which supposed to be 0.25 or 0.3 millimeters. So this is very thin magnet wire I think. So I understand that this uh, white and this uh, purple colored, they are going to the toroid, which you also can see here, the L1 goes to the toroid and this is the white lead going to this toroid. So for me that's just the uh, L1 uh, being the white orange. Then we have the L2 coil, which is the uh, resonating coil. I think this is this uh, magnet wire here going to both sides. And we have the capacitor here, few capacitors in parallel. And this will be the L2 coil seen here. Then we have the L3 coil, which is the coax, coaxial cable, which you can see here running. And it will be, uh, as I understand, uh, coiled up to here, and here it's shorted. So this is the uh, 5 meter 90 or 6 meter coaxial cable. But the specification here, it says uh, 5.9 meters. RG58AU, uh, 
but to my understanding that is always a black cable, a black coating cable. I looked at the specifications of the uh, RG58U uh, and we can see the uh, the AU type here with the solid PE uh, isolation. We also have another one with foam but the, normally uh, the, 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 the RG58 will be with solid PE and you can see it's the outer casing is black PVC so I'm not sure uh, why we see a white coax cable I don't think it's it's the uh, the black uh, RG58 cable you can see it's 50 ohms nominal impedance and also the velocity factor is 66% compared to uh, to in uh, in in air so it's slower in the in the coaxial the signal than normally transmitted so when i look at this coil it's obviously very wide so i don't think this is the rg58 uh, 85 uh, 58 sorry coax mentioned i think it's more a normal tv like coax which is 75 ohms i'm not sure if it's that important but uh, this is something different than the diagrams I understand and finally we have the L4 coil which I understand is this brown outer laying this go goes to the the capacitors the obvious the the problem here is that there is no brown lead coming out on this side only a blue wire so probably the L4 coil is made up of this brown and blue cable probably the first attempt was only with a few uh, blue turns and then it's being extended by extra brown layers I'm not sure why but that's the only explanation I can give uh, why we have this L4 coil the blue one is going to ground here you have a big ground pin and the other brown one goes to the uh, to the output and let me check again here the L4 coil you can see one side goes to the uh, output uh, rectifier bridge and the other one goes to ground We have one other coil going to ground, which is the uh, L1 coil. So it could be that this blue one is also the L1 coil, but I doubt it. Because it's way too thick. So my conclusion about the coil is something like this. The L1 coil is the white orange one. The L2 is the, uh, the magnet wire. The L3 is the coax, which is not the RG58, uh, but probably some kind of 75 ohm television coax or cable. And the L4 one is the brown blue cable for the output. And this uh, diagram shows a little bit the uh, specifications of the coil, the L1 coil. <coughs> very thin wire very long the L2 coil is uh, much thicker and we have the 6 meter of uh, coaxial cable there's no specifications on the L4 coil but when I calculate or uh, count the wires there's something about 72 wires including the blue ones here and I think there's not a uh, forward and back but only uh, one layer and then back and then another one so I count a total or se of 72 uh, turns of this L4 but that's my guess okay so what I want to try is I uh, get my uh, one of my first uh, cashier wound uh, coils as a base 
this would be then the L1 coil it's uh, 0 0.4 millimeter so it's a little bit thicker than the L1 it's uh, almost 700 turns it's 29 centimeters so it's it's a longer coil because it's thicker wire but it's less turn so I can try this one and I will try to construct this kind of uh, four coils on top of it to see what we can make out of it okay that is what I wanted to report right now and see what's going to happen thank you for watching okay so I have now made the L2 coil also clockwise over the L1 coil so this is the lead of the uh, L1 coil almost 700 turns 0.4 millimeter and on top of it I have uh, wound the L2 coil <coughs> 380 turns 0.6 millimeter wire also clockwise and the next step will be to uh, get the coaxial cable 42 turns 41 turns if it allows me to turn over these two coils okay um, here I have uh, also wound the coaxial cable around the boat L1 and L2 coils also in the same clockwise direction this end it is being uh, shorted the inner and outer are connected together this one is left to be open uh, I'm not sure if I will continue with this because my coaxial cable is not the RG58 50 ohm but it's an old television 75 ohm coaxial cable and it has the foam uh, PE uh, isolation and not the solid uh, PE but uh, this this makes the uh, velocity of the uh, cable 78% uh, I don't think it's uh, that important but I have to find some answers on that or make some measurements to see what else if I can find anything uh, strange with this coaxial cable um, so this is where I am at the moment uh, some data on the coils uh, the L1 coil 690 turns that's what I had on my old Kescher uh, coil used it's uh, 0.4 millimeter magnetic wire I measure 3.3 micro milli Henry as inductance and 14.5 ohms resistance the L2 coil wound on top of the L1 coil is uh, 380 turns perhaps I will have to remove some turns to get back to the 315 being uh, mentioned in the original design from Dali it's 0.6 millimeter so a little bit uh, thinner it measures 1.5 milli Henry and 0 0.5 ohms so now I have to make some decision about if I continue with this coaxial cable or if I should find the RG58 50 ohm cable first but I will make some measurement next step will also be uh, what to use for the output coil the L4 coil which to my calculations uh, are something about 7 seven zero turns and uh, that will be something like uh, one or one and a half millimeter cable okay lots of questions like the pulse the nano pulser and what basic frequency we should run the l1 coil on but uh, it's a start okay thank you for watching